Xbox full screen experience launched with the Xbox Ally X, but I'm gonna show you how to install it on any handheld. And I've got three just here to prove to you that we've done just that. So we've actually got Xbox full screen experience running on all three of these devices. We've got the Lenovo Legion Go 2, we've got the original OG Ally and the MSI Claw A8. And this will work on any handheld providing that you're running Windows and I'm gonna show you everything that you need to do. So let's get to it. So first of all, you need to update Windows to 25H2. So they've actually rolled this out now publicly so you don't need to do any Windows Insider things or anything like that. Just simply go to your Windows update in the settings tab, click the switch to get the latest updates and search for updates. However, if you're still not getting the rollout for 25H2 though, we can force this, but we need to download a couple of programs from Microsoft. So head over to Google and Google Windows 11 Installation Assistant. Now this is an official Windows installer, so don't worry, just make sure you go into the Microsoft link. I'll link it in the description as well. Now when you install and try and run this, it will tell you that you need to install PC Health Check app from Microsoft as well for it to work. Now you can either do this on that little pop-up window as you try and install via that first installation assistant that we've just installed, or you can manually separately download it. Again, I'll leave a link in the description, but it is probably just easier to click the get the health check app whilst you're trying to install the assistant. And then once it's installed, that installation will continue. And don't worry, that installation assistant isn't gonna like wipe your windows and completely format your device or anything like that. It literally just forces the update in, everything else will remain the same. So now you've got 25H2 installed, we need to go and download Vivetool from GitHub. Link in the description again, but just simply go to Google and type in Vivetool, and then you should see the link to GitHub. Download the one that says intelamd.zip. Now head to your downloads folder, right click and extract all. Then rename that extracted folder to just Vivetool. So just delete the end bit until it just says Vivetool. Now you wanna cut and paste that entire folder in your C drive's root directory. Now what you wanna do is go to the search tab and type in CMD or command prompt and then run as administrator. Now we need to input some coding. Do not get this wrong, so make sure you double check every single letter, colon, forward and backslash, capitals matter as well, so just copy this exactly. Now you wanna type in what's shown on screen here and in the link in the description, and make sure that all the capitals and everything are correct. Now, once you've typed that in, press enter and then type in vivetool.exe forward slash enable forward slash ID 5258032. Press enter again and you should see a message saying that this successfully set feature set configuration. Now we need to type in vivetool.exe forward slash enable forward slash ID colon 5090026330. Press enter again and you should see another message saying successfully set feature configuration. Now we need to close down command prompt and then go to search and search for reg edit or registry edit and then go to computer, H key local software, Microsoft, Windows NT, current version, OEM. And then double click on device form and ensure that the hexadecimal value shows 2E. Now you can close that down and now you can restart your system as well. Now you've restarted, head over to settings and then the gaming tab and now you should see full screen experience as an option. Click here and change choose home app from none to Xbox and then enter full screen experience on startup and then restart your system again and then you'll be in full screen experience. Now a really good tip as well is depending on which handheld you've got, but effectively on each handheld you should be able to remap buttons, right? Now with the MSI Claw just here, this is actually really cool because they've already manually input MSI quick settings into game bar, so I've not had to do anything here. And the best bit about this is if I press and hold this, it does actually bring up the switcher. 
correctly. So this is almost like pre-built, ready for Windows full screen experience or Xbox full screen experience. This is really cool. This is the easiest one because you do nothing. You don't need to do anything. It's just already programmed. That's really, really cool. And you've already got all your quick settings in Game Bar, which I really, really like. Now with the Legion Go 2 just here, which is an absolute mammoth beast, right? I've reprogrammed this bottom top button to be the game bar, so Windows plus G, and it already has a switcher on the bottom left, which I've just left as default. And then if I want the like full carousel, I can swipe up from the bottom there. But effectively, you're gonna get whichever handheld you've got, and then just reprogram one of the buttons to be Windows plus G as the shortcut, and then you'll get game bar being able to be accessed. Now, you might need to do it on one of the back paddles for whichever device you've got, or you can, you know, remap one of the face ones. There we have it. We are in Windows full screen experience. Now, a couple of tips as well. If you want to go back to Windows, you can either swipe up and then hit Windows desktop just here. And doing so will bring up just straight up Windows. Now, if you want to re-enter, you can go to the Xbox app and hit full screen experience and you can either restart back into it, which is going to give you that performance benefit by stopping background processes to load, or you can just hit start now, no changes, and that leaves all the background processes running if you want to very quickly go back to the Windows desktop if you're like installing mods or whatever you might be doing, right? That is an easy way to do it. Now, the other way is going to game bar and then heading over to settings, and then you can enter full screen experience here. And the same with closing out, you can also go to game bar as well and then exit full screen experience there as well. And there we have it. That is our guide to show you exactly how to install Xbox full screen experience on any handheld device. I've actually done this on loads of different devices and it works absolutely great. I'm a big fan of it actually. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Obviously this will roll out officially next year for these devices without needing to do this five tool hack, right? But for now, it works absolutely fine. So go down there, like this video, subscribe, become a member and you get to chat to us over on our private Discord and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.